So, yes. here we are. We are in, in the wild. We're on our adventure. Uh -oh. well, we're not quite, <laughs> not quite in the wild. We're on the edge of, <laughs> yeah. edge of a village. If you look this way, we're in the wild. Yeah, we're, we're stand, standing under an absolutely not humongous... Not that you understand <laughs> which way that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's no, audio, we're standing under a wonderful, wonderful uh, willow tree. Yeah. And uh, that's a maple tree, the other one. <clears throat> but we are next to a road, so if you yes. hear any road noise, that's traffic coming past. And uh, we're going to be trying out our geocache adventure now yes. it's fair to say that i have dabbled i have i've dipped to the tip of my toe in the water of geocaching mm, over true. the years but literally by mistake okay. you know, yeah uh, yeah yeah that is true uh, you were climbing a tree weren't you zach yes. uh, and came across one yes. and things like that so but i've never officially gone geocaching as such not so, on such scale at least the, 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 what we're attempting today mm. we want to find out why it's such an immersive hobby for so many yes. people and yeah. Hopefully, find out that it can be, you know, uh, enlightening. Yeah, yeah. Just it, it, okay. Maybe we should start off by saying, what is geocaching? Okay, so mm. geocaching is, is, is kind of like a live, real-time treasure hunt. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got. And this is the thing I've got to learn myself because there's a, a lot of different terminologies. It would seem if you're in the geocaching. Mm. There's probably a few club. Sort of hidden rules and things. Yeah, hidden rules etiquette. and <laughs> etiquette. Yeah. Uh, what I can tell you is uh, thrown thrown my mind back to uh, one that we accidentally found. It had a little uh, laminated card in, sort of telling you about geocaching and oh, so yeah. asking helpful. people not to steal yeah. the the box it was in. I can see how that would be helpful. Mm. Um, so we've chosen a route uh, now. So I suppose what you've got to say is, for us novices, uh, people that haven't done geocaching before, if I'm right, are known as muggles. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a muggle. <laughs> so you're a muggle, and we're kind of muggle. We're going to pretend to be muggles you're today because you're in your first year at Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, we're in our first year at Hogwarts. Gryffindor. Uh, <laughs> so for, for the sake of the now we're we know official, show, we're official geocachers. We are official geocachers today. We've nice. gone premium. Okay. And uh, bizarrely enough, when I opened up the app on premium, boom, there's like <laughs> mega amounts of geocaches You've around. the geocache underworld. <laughs> exactly. And, and that's kind of what it's like. You say like an underworld because, it, you know, we discovered one up a tree, mm. stuck in a hole, Accidentally. hiding behind a piece of bark. So it was really well hidden. Yeah, Let's face it. nowhere. Yeah, well, yeah, that was over was a forest. A forest over Astridge yeah. in Hertfordshire. And, um, and the thing with that is uh, you would never have... Unless you climbed the tree, you would never have found yeah. it, you see. And so that was intriguing, and that's why I kind of looked into it a bit. And so these things are hidden all over the place, and you get uh, large kind of Tupperware box type ones, which mm. are quite large and hidden. And then you get micro ones, and we've accidentally come across micro ones before. Mm. Uh, and now this is where the geocaches can tell me if I'm right or wrong. Th th we found a micro one, which was magnetic, which was a tiny, tiny little metal capsule that magnetised on the back of a sign mm. on a street sign once. It was like, whoa. What's that? Just by chance. Yeah. Uh, and, but then we found another one. I recall we found which was in a 35 millimeter film container. So yeah. I don't. I don't know if that's yeah. classified as a micro or not. Mm. You know. So yeah. But anyway, they vary in size. Yeah. And the thing is, what what is geocaching? Is the, these hidden treasures mm. seem to be scattered everywhere. And I most, was most when you showed me the app, uh, mm. it was just how many there were, just within where I'm living it's yeah. like I would so, never have known that they were no no right well, that's the point house. people are walking past or should I say muggles are walking past them every day not even knowing that they are passing these things they're, yeah. they're hidden all around uh, sometimes I gather they're kind of like hidden which might look like an old boot in a town centre stuck in a bush and you think oh you know, somebody's discarded an old boot but yeah. actually there's a geocache in it um, and of course what can happen is they can go missing Right. Yeah, yeah, kids can find them. Like we, we we found them by accident, but we left them there because that's that once we read the thing and realised what it was. Mm. Uh, but I can understand how they go missing. And from looking at the app that I've now activated on Premium, uh, it would seem that you find one, yeah, and you can log it. Or if you can't find it, you can also report that it's missing. So the owner of that cache can then yeah. either take it off the app or replace it. Uh, for those people interested, it was actually a really reasonable price because I, I thought for the podcast we'd go premium and I think it was like £4 something for a month, but it was just over £20 for a whole year. Oh yeah. So I thought, part well, two. Yeah, part <laughs> I, part two. I, thought, I thought if I enjoy today, I'm, I'll, I'll keep it for a year and uh, you can, wherever you are, you can go think, yeah. what, what should I do? I'll do a bit of geocaching. Yeah. 
Uh, Maybe not in the middle of the ocean, though. Oh, trust me, I do believe there are <laughs> ones that people have dropped into the Atlantic and things that nobody's ever going to get. So, yeah, I mean, these things, they, they think of some very bizarre places with geocaches. So, with all that said, here we are. We're kind of on a start spot. There's no geocaches here, but we've got a rough route yeah. that yeah. we're going to follow. I don't really know the route. No, so we're gonna, kind of we, we are going to put the app into uh, post, yeah, we put it put it into action mm. and see if how well the app works because yeah. I believe the app as well as got the overhead uh, uh, map on it yeah. showing where the geocaches are. Uh, it's also got compass, so when you get closer to it, you can sort of track using the compass facility on it. Okay. Um, so we're kind of like testing out the app or our ability to yeah. use the app, app review. Yeah, and see if we can find these geocaches. So cool. Is there anything, guys, that you think we should cover before we set off on our adventure? I wonder if we'll see any more geocaches that are out there. We'll see all to the universe versions of ourselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're variants. Yeah, we're kind of entering this world that, that exists that nobody really knows yeah, about. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're going into a secret secret world. Yeah, I think there's, it's kind of like the, the society of geocaches probably <laughs> go about their business and nobody notices that, oh, hang on a minute, there's some people and they're sort of scrummaging around in a, in a bush somewhere. They're not uh, homeless. They're not homeless. <laughs> they're actually geocachers. Uh, which, so you know, we might you might find from this point onwards, you start noticing yeah. <laughs> these individuals. We're going to have to bring this up on our secret societies episode. What the secret society of geocachers? <laughs> yes, well, it's their initiation <laughs> test. Yeah, you got to go. Um, so yeah, and and we'll talk about the different types of caches as we go around. But I think we should. Cars are, cars are going past at the moment, but anyway, should we start on our adventure? Yes, I yes. think we should. I think enough said. We're so, go. we're going on an adventure. In the words of Bilbo Baggins, we're going, going on, on an adventure. adventure. Right, we've reached our start point. Yes. Okay, our start point. So we've, we've walked a, a way up the lane. Destination one. Destination one. We are actually still next to a lane. We're heading out of Stockfold. Um, what we're going to do is, as we do these geocaches, uh, we're going to talk about the geocache, but we're not going to actually reveal exactly where they're hidden for the purposes. That's, that's part of the we don't want to spoil that. But anyway, so let's go, yeah, let's go from the top. I'm going to open up the app. Uh, I know we're close to one, so you can see where we are on the overhead map. Yeah. So we're very close. So, let's, so this first one is called the Kingfisher Way 2. Okay. And then what we do is we, I, I presume we tap it's on that. It's we, the geocache sequel. Yeah, so I've tapped on that one. And then it gives us a navigate button. So let's navigate. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a bit weird. This is a straight, like straight heading, isn't it? Um, oh, look at that. This is eight meters. Eight meters. Okay. Well, uh, we've got a public footpath the other side of the road. And a giant field. And a giant field <laughs> and a bench. So <laughs> let's let's head over that way. This is interesting just to see how the how the uh, the app works and the app works gives us a gauge of where whereabouts we should be looking but well, we're definitely four meters it says three two meters oh my god oh, we're here one, okay one meter oh now we've just jumped right it's jumped to 13 meters away all of a sudden and we're now standing in the field <laughs> uh, which we crossed the road and we're already there basically. center on the no that's not good okay but right, i'm gonna go back out of that go to description Okay, we need a clue. Ah, right. Okay, so now this, so you go into the app. We've navigated in. That seemed a bit random, really, but we know we're standing near something. Yes. So we're now, the, now we're I've in gone the vicinity to, of a wild geocache. Yeah. Now using the uh, using the description, it says a magnetic nano. Oh, nano. See, I've heard of micros. This is a nano. A magnetic nano was attached to the previous two old seats. Oh, there is one. There is a bench <laughs> near us. Uh, and finally being replaced by a new third seat at the start of the footpath. Well, that's where we're standing. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 okay, so it's got to be around here somewhere. So I presume it must be on the seat somewhere. Shall we look? Yeah, let's, let's go over. So there's, a, there's like a very common looking brown and green bench. Uh, something you'd see very... Right, we've got a bench here. Commonly get around this get sort of searching area. team. Get searching. Oh, hang on. I think oh. I found it. Oh, hold on. Oh. So the seat here. Oh, I'm not going to tell what it is, where it is. Okay. It's a bench. It's a bench. <laughs> it's a bench. <laughs> Could be anywhere. Yeah, look. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. okay. We found uh, a small capsule. <laughs> yeah, a small capsule. Okay, we've got a very small capsule and it's got What's the uh, little thing on it. Is that uh, a magnet. Oh, okay. That makes sense. 
Okay. Wow, that's that's really small. Anyone could just completely overlook that. I don't know. Yeah, I would just How we meant to get oh. Oh, oh! He's just thrown it across the. <laughs> it's in the field. <laughs> We've lost the chicken. Come in the dick. Come in the dick. We've got to find it That's again. <laughs> well, I'm trying to, sh I'm trying to shake the information out of the tube. Yeah, create create a table with your hands, Jack. I can't get it out. Okay, well look. <laughs> I need some tweezers. <laughs> yeah, this is a nano cache. It looks like it's got like a roll it's of got a roll, a roll of paper <laughs> where I assume you uh, you write down that you found it. Yeah. Uh, I can't get that out of there. So I think if you're a geocacher, I have a pen. Would a pen help? Yeah, but a pen. You're just going to jab it down there. I think if you're a if you're a geocacher, maybe you'd be carrying a pair of tweezers on you. Yeah, we haven't got the geocache equipment. Yeah, that we're discovering what equipment it's we're. It's the learning curve. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll log that one via the app. Okay. Yep. But we're going to put that one back. So we found our first. We found we are one for one geocaching. One for one. Hey, we are now blooded geocachers. Right, so we're not muggles <laughs> anymore now. We're heading I've up. Been, the, I've been. Uh, we're heading up the Hogwarts. We've been, sort, we've been yeah. sorted into our houses. <laughs> exactly. Right. So what we'll do, we found that one. Yep. And that wasn't too bad. Okay. It didn't actually. The description didn't tell us exactly where it was, but it gave us a good idea. Yep. Yeah. So let's move on to cache number two. Ooh. Ooh. Right, we've now arrived at our second point. Geocache uh, number two. This one's called the Kingfisher Way 3. And this one, it says on it, a micro. So it's another... So it's, I would assume that's bigger than a nano. Is that right? I'd say a micro smaller than a nano. Okay. Anyway, oh, it says... Uh, yeah. Right, okay, it says oh, we're three metres from right, it. Oh, two metres. All right. Literally right next to it. Let's cross the road with cars. Oh, okay, but lots, lots of traffic, lots of traffic. Dangerous podcast. Uh, okay, so we're literally meant to be on top of it here. Oh, there is a compass. All right, I'm going to push the compass. <gasps> look at that, three meters away. Okay. Look, look, look at this. Look, do you see this? Uh, we've got a compass on the we app. We have an now. actual compass. Do you think it's the orange end <laughs> or the white end that's pointing towards it? Oh dear. <laughs> uh, let's walk this way. Well, it depends which way you get left and left. It depends. Do you reckon it's magnetic this time? Oh, got five meters. It says now. Six. 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 So this so we're going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. I reckon. Are you sure it's not? It must be around like this small, front post. It's like a small bottle down here. Or is that oh, just well, rubbish? That well, I'll pick it up, Jack. Okay. I wouldn't call that a micro. It looks bigger. Okay. Anyway, I'll come out the. Ooh. See inside. It says. Okay. That that seems. Okay. This is. I'm not, opening the. This, I wouldn't say a, this is a micro. It's a very tatty bottle, <laughs> with a red cap and a green label saying "See inside." I'm going to keep it away from my face in case it's... Yeah, uh, it definitely looks like a geocache. Oh, okay. It's oh, wow. Do you want to open that up there? Should we move away from the road? Okay. And see what just, we'll yeah, just so, just so Zach doesn't get run over. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, we did decide to do our geocaching podcast on the hottest day <laughs> the UK has ever had. And honestly, who planned this? <laughs> Interestingly, um, I should point out with this geocache, it's literally, I walk past this like on a weekly basis and I would never have known it was there. So. Oh, wow. Well, well whoever, whoever had that one last didn't hide it very well because it was actually... <laughs> we saw it from we a saw little it. while away. But yeah. because it's in a micro, I thought that was a bit... I mean, so a very tatty yeah. piece of paper there. I was open the tatty piece of... Oh, my gosh, this is... We good. literally thought it was a piece of rubbish, didn't we? Is this all that's in there? Uh, no, there's... Uh... Uh, it says... It says 8th of the 7th, 22 was the last date on this one. Geocaching.com game piece. Oh, you found a game piece. I'm not sure what that is. No, I mean, it's got a date on the bottom, but it seems very looks rather chatty. Chew, chewed up. <laughs> We've found a new term. Right, game piece. We're gonna have to look up what a game I've piece. I've got is. a bottle top. Okay. From oh wow. A Stiegel. Looks like a, a, uh, maybe a, a kind of a premium lager bottle. <laughs> what else have we got in there? Um, it just keeps giving and giving this one. And another piece of paper. <laughs> With nothing on it. Is that it? On. Is that, is that it? Paper, yeah, that's it. Okay, so we've got a bottle top and a geocaching game piece, but we can't see a number. There's no number or anything because it's, it's, it's all disappeared from. Yeah, it's looks been, like it's been wet at some point. Yeah, it's not been kept very well. Okay, so I'm gonna put the red red lid back on. Biggest geocache so far. <laughs> yeah, even though the actual app said that this was meant to be a micro, um, let's refer back to the app. So I'm assuming hmm. that it's uh, description. 
Right, so it says a small childproof bison tube container. Sorry, listeners, this is Jack taking Sorry, a just picture. Me. I'll, I'll We're just taking a photo. Uh, bring your own pen. Uh, I think I actually have got a pen on me, but the paper in it is so ratty. I'll just log it on the app. Yeah. Um, so do, is that a bison tube? I don't know. It's a like what? Kind it of says like a, a bison tube container. What's well, a bison you... tube? <laughs> okay. It's not really a pill bottle or anything. Cause it's... Is it, well, it's, big, it's way bigger than a 35mm yeah. film case. Yeah. Uh, but the actual app itself... Uh, when I went to look at this, it did say that it was a uh, micro, but there you go. So it's bigger than a micro. That's got to be bigger than a micro. Yeah, well, it's the biggest we've had so far. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put down that we found it. Hey. So, hey. Jack, do you so want to go and hide it somewhere hide a bit it more? Where we found it, but so you can't see it. Behind the post. Somebody yeah, behind left. the post. Okay, somebody, we'll go hide it. somebody left it lying out in the open. Okay. So that's two for two so far. It's all looking good. All looking positive wait for Jack to come back. Yeah, right, so I've logged that one on the app, so that's two for two, as you say. Now, okay, so Jack's on his way back. Uh, now, we've got a choice. We're going to go off-road. It's viewable, but it's not completely obvious. Okay, so, <laughs> okay guys, we're looking at the map now. This is so geocaching. This is, we're starting to get there, I think. We, we can go off-road, which we're going to do, but I've just noticed there's one just a little bit further up the lane Ooh. Uh, and that one uh, seems to be at Astwick Church so oh wow okay should we go and see if we can find that one is this yes. on the premium yes this is on the premium oh okay it wasn't shown on exclusive. the free one it's exclusive <laughs> in fact shall I I'll just tap on tap on it see what it says oh no not another church micro <laughs> okay. Right, so we that bodes well. <laughs> this bodes well. We're gonna go find a church micro. Okay. Right, so let's go. Onwards. Right, we've arrived outside St. Guthlach's Church in Astwick. Yes. I can um, say I've never been here, so this is I've cycled one. past here many, many times. I've like always this. wanted to come and have a look. Yeah, I've been past it. Just never so, been so what we've okay, so what we've discovered about geocaching, it kind of makes you stop and head for places. Yeah. You keep saying, ooh. Wonder what's there. Mm. Anyway, we're in the shade of a lovely, lovely lime tree, and uh, the actual geocaching <laughs> app uh, is giving us a direction towards the end of the church. So if it we says 23 meters, mm. so we're so a little while away. Yeah, let's head for it. Somebody, some, um, I'm, I've got the phone, so somebody else can do the gate. So what was yeah. the name of this one? <coughs> uh, it was called Oh No, Not Another Church Micro, <laughs> Number Three, Saint Guthlac. We're opening the gate. Okay, right. we're going through a gate right, right now. We're down to 21 meters. Ooh. I feel like we're playing aliens at the moment. <laughs> 20 meters. Make they're closing in. Meters. 18, <laughs> 17, 15. That means they're inside the room. <laughs> Come on. 12 meters. They're right above us. Are you sure you're reading it right? <laughs> uh, 8 meters, 6 meters. Now, I'm a bit confused on this one because this one seems to, seems to be saying for 2 meters. It must be meters. around this corner. Well, the actual map shows it being on the roof. Ah. Wait, what? Unless it's inside the church. If it's inside the church, that makes So sense. let's have a look and see if there's a description. Okay, this is a mixture of maths and mud. Oh. Or a little arithmetic and a short stroll in the country. Uh oh. Uh, there is a little trickery. It is pretty simple, but there are a couple of stages to find. I was passing here the other day and realised that there wasn't a church micro here. An opportunity to mark a saint with a daft name. And make a cache big enough to take a TB. TB? What's a TB? I thought it was a disease, isn't it? <laughs> well, a TB is a disease. <laughs> I don't want to open a cache if it's got TB in it. Uh, right, okay, there's a lot of, lot of writing about this one. Um, there is a hint button. Shall we try the hint button for the first time? Yeah. Uh, for both real stages, think under. Under is that under no, something? Have to dig a grave right, I think <laughs> oh I think we're going to take some searching. So perhaps we should come off uh, recording and have a look around and come back and, uh, if and we update you. If and we update you. Anything. Okay, we'll update you if we find anything. Okay. So we're back. Right. Yes, we, we are, are the location are... of the third geocache. Yeah. We haven't found it yet, but we are now. What? Well, it was saying one meter away from it, and there was a hint saying under, under, and we seem to have a pile of. Um, Yes. Slates there, so should we? I'm gonna come out of the app. Let's see. Ooh. It's a rather suspicious looking pile, I must say. Yeah. And I, 
found a slug. Oh hey. wow, that's that's not a geocache. <laughs> it's a it's an organic geocache. Yeah. <laughs> Do these people think this is fun because you're gonna like hunt around the graveyard and the yeah. church? You know? This was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. So one meter away here. Hmm. It said one meter away here. The only thing it could be under is what's over there. So. Well, it yeah. said <clears throat> under. Well, I'm baffled on this one. Yeah, it's a micro. It's a micro. So normally with micros, I look. Is it on the drain pipe at all? Yeah, it's plastic drain pipe. <laughs> Yeah, so I can't see that it's going to be magnetised to the drain pipe. Can't see anything anywhere. Although we don't want to give away. If <laughs> that is true. Let's have a little. Can't see anything else. It could be under, 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 under. Oof. That is a lot of stuff. No. Yeah, I can't really see anything that. Yeah, I think. <laughs> bombed out on this one. Yeah, please forgive the wind. It's a bit windy here. Yeah. It's our first non non well, I'll go uh -oh. back to the app. Yeah, see if there's any like real like decisive information we can actually use. Because <laughs> of course we want to be respectful because okay. we are it in a it's church. It's actually it says it's small. It's small. small, not micro, it says small. Okay. Maybe it's the size. <laughs> Size is small. It's inside the slug. Difficult. Well, it says difficulty 1.5, which means that it shouldn't be too difficult. Is that out of five? Difficulty out yeah, of five? Yeah, kind of out of five, yeah. Okay. Weird. So, a really easy one then. It says, it says think under. Think under. Under. Well, I thought that was the only thing that I've seen that you can look under was those slates. Yeah. And it says we're one meter. Unless, of course, it is actually inside. If it's in the church. Well, the church is shut, so. Yeah. It can't be in a church. Uh, it can't be. When was the last time it was found? Can we do we know that from the app? The premium one as well, so you'd think. Right, at the end of the uh, the end of the text says no teaspoons were harmed in the setting of this cache. Teaspoons. Yeah, virtual or otherwise. <laughs> what on earth does that mean? <laughs> you said a lot of words then, and none of them actually made any sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's saying <clears throat> teaspoons. Teaspoons. That sounds like a kitchen. Weird. Okay, so we're now just walking around the side of the church a bit more just to see if we can find anything else uh, there we're eight, nine meters away we're nine meters away it, definitely there, then. it must be it must be somewhere around there maybe we're just too novice at this to yeah. know the tricks of the well, trade we can't see any cracks well, in the side of the church there. or anything another is there a hole under that nope no under that's something to do with teaspoons. <laughs> if it's anything, it's got to be that, surely. Yeah. Else that have another. On, have another. Can you can have another check, Jack? Oh, we found it. it says one oh. meter here. Okay. 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 So we're now standing in front of the main door of the church. No. It could be quite an obvious place to put. I think the navigation Under. on these is kind of a little bit uh... wonky. There's not. I can't really. I'm looking at the door right now, and I can't really see anything. There's no. There's nowhere. To under anything. We can't lift anything up. It's really difficult. I can't really understand where or how we're supposed to find this one. So far, this is definitely the trickiest the only one to find. The only thing I can think of when it comes to under was uh, obviously graves. Yeah. We don't want to start digging up anything. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> there's deer catching and there's silly Grave robbing. <laughs> <coughs> under. Well, we said it was getting further away, actually, didn't we? So, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking this is our first no-show. <laughs> yeah. Right, I don't know. What should we put this one down to, boys? Um, we're too novice. We did. <laughs> I think we're too novice on this one, so unfortunately... And very cryptic clues yeah. as well. It could have been easier. Teaspoons, Saint teaspoons. Guthlack. Yeah, I think Saint Guthlack has beaten us on this one. And under. <laughs> And uh, so we need to unlock our third it eye contains, to get this one. And it contains a TB. Travel bug. I've heard of a travel bug, so ah, maybe that's okay. what it is. It's not the disease. <laughs> travel, travel bug, maybe. Okay, well, no, if it's a travel bug, I think they're normally like a, like a little, you know, uh, army dog tags. Okay, yeah. I think they're that sort of size, so you're not looking at something that's... So could it have possibly been under there? You're just looking for the wrong thing? Um, well, it would be in a container. Oh, okay. So that would be so quite obvious. Um, unless 
I mean, we're looking at the front of the church. Maybe we should come out of the recording and then just have a good scoot around. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably best. Because it would strike me as the uh, navigation on the, the, this. The, the um, uh, Yeah. Yeah, is kind of a bit vague. Vague. Yeah. We're, no, we're nowhere near it. We just need to find it. But it's not pinpointing it exactly. Yeah. So let's give it a try. So at least we kind of know we're looking for a travel bug now. That's, I think that's, that's what it means. Okay. Mm. okay. We'll be back in a second. Geocache terminology. Right. Well, we've had absolutely no success in finding mm. St. Guthalak's uh, small. Oh, no, not another microcache. <laughs> well, that's the thing. It said micro, and then on the app it said small. But then it said on the. It seems to have on the app a scale of terrain difficulty, which this is flat, so okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then it had like a sl sliding scale of, let's say one to five. It doesn't say one to five. It's just kind of like bars. Mm. And it said a one point something. So you think that's quite easy. Uh, but no, we have is, is there a chance it could be in the church? Is that I suppose there's a possibility it could be in the church. But obviously um, it's closed today, so we can't yeah, they gain entry. To find it, so I wouldn't imagine they put you it think inside. You'd want to put it outside. Yeah. So I mean, where find. we have looked, I think that's probably the most obvious place. Yeah, and so the navigation on the actual. Uh, but there was nothing there. That's it. On the actual uh, app itself, kept bouncing sort of like one meter was the nearest we could get to mm. it. Um, but honestly, can't see, can't see anything. Nope, it's the one we've spent the most time looking yeah, for. So it? let's put that one down to experience <laughs> and we'll move on to our next one. Okay, cache. so we found two, we've not found one. Two out of three. Two, two out, out of three. three. Okay. okay, let's go to our fourth. Right, so we have now come to our fourth geocache and at the moment, oh, it says it's six meters away on the navigation. Yeah, so this is the Kingfisher Way 4. Four. Yeah, so Kingfisher Way 4. It's this difficulty 2. Terrain 1.5 and it's as a small size. Okay. So, so we've got m micro, nano, small. Yeah. Okay. And okay, then maybe I don't know. We're still yet <laughs> to find out whether micro or nano, <laughs> which is smaller. <laughs> At least we found out what TB stands for. Yes. Yeah. Not tuberculosis. Did you okay. want to go first? I'm going. <coughs> I'm venturing down into okay. the supposed. We're trying not area. to sting ourselves on stinging nettles. We're kind of just traversing kind of an old fence. Oops, find out for your bag. Ooh. Ah, who decided to wear shorts? Yeah, I'm wearing Ow. <laughs> okay. It's kind of a bit overgrown. There's a huge tree in front of us. Carrying on. There's some old bricks and stuff. Wow, okay. Buzz is just ahead of us. He's towards another fence. He's apparently one meter away. Uh, yeah, Ow. We'll, we'll just watch you from here, Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> you got this! I've got this. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, look at a hint or something. Wait, is there... Can I see something up in that tree there? Oh, okay. I'm also recording this, by the way, so... Getting a bit tricky. Uh, uh, ow. Many apologies for the recording. Is this. No, 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 that's nothing up in that tree. Spotting anything? The hint says. Yeah. Base of fence post under brick. Base of fence post under brick. In front of big tree. In front of big tree. So, are we on the wrong side? I'm <laughs> if we're on the wrong side. Ah. Okay. Yeah, we're on the site of an old sewage works. Ah, oh, lovely. And it's a lock box size we're looking for. Okay, so we're looking for a lock box. Um, and it's a small one, yeah? Yeah, it'd be a, but it'd be a lock box. It's a small size and it says next to the fence post. Okay, under a brick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll just I'm just going back to Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Okay. okay. So we are Did you say we're on the site of an old sewage. Yeah. Okay, we're on the site of an old <laughs> sewage work, works. Um We're looking for a small lock box under a brick near that tree. <laughs> okay, so we're in the vicinity. Yeah. Okay. We just need to find exactly where it is. Okay. 
I don't come here at all very often. Come oh, on. I think I've stung myself several times. Oh, that. <laughs> Ow. We might have to amputate. <laughs> yeah? There's a brick over there. There's a brick over but here. We came past, past another uh, uh, post coming in here, didn't we? That is true. The problem about the saying that there's, it's under... Oh, we what? found it. Oh, oh, oh my God. We found it. Okay, go, 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 go. So, so the, uh, the actual app was a little bit out on its navigation, but I can see, we're not sure, we don't, we don't want to show where it is. <laughs> no one knows where it is. We're <laughs> yeah, just the yeah, random um, woods. So, anyway, let me put my pokey stick down, my, my. Okay, Buzz is retrieving the cache. We are uh, observing a wild buzz <gasps> as he forages for a geocache. Oh wow, this is definitely the biggest one we've found so far. Oh, wow. It's a Tupperware box. Hey. Yeah. Oh, it's a lock box. It's our lunch. Oh, what have we got in here? Now this one's in much better condition. It's actually got a pencil. Oh. We've got a, oh, a couple little of seashell. A couple of seashell and a little bow in there. Oh wow, okay. that's really cool. And we've got a book. So do you want to hold that? See, this is this is this is better because yeah, because they put it in a little plastic protective little bag. Little zip, zip proof bag. Geocaching, it's an actual geocaching logbook. Look at that. Oh, perfect. What was the last person oh. to find it? Okay. There's been a lot of people here. Been a lot of people. Keep we on going, keep on going. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're walking in the footsteps of giants. Many, as they many geocache legends out there. Uh, well, the last two are kind of indecipherable to be honest. I was going to say, De Deji? Dom. <coughs> Dom. Dom. Could be that it's a little child. But the last date was 27th of the 4th, 22. Okay, so, a few months ago. So huh. I'm going to stick, I'll stick us in. Okay, so. The Now We Know show. Yeah. Oh man, this is difficult to write on. Uh, perhaps leaning on a tree or something? The now We Can Know show. That's the 18th, I think. And it's, is it the 18th? Yes, the 18th of July. 18th of the 7th. As of time of recording. Uh, 22. Uh, there you go. Hey! Put that back in there. Our get first oh. official recorded on site geocache for the Now We Know show. Slightly scratchy because I haven't got it to lean on. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. That is really Perfect. cool. That's right. Demi. Demi? So. Something? We're going to pop, pop this one back, and that's uh, basically three out of four. Then, three out of four. Yes, we're back on track. Back yes. on track. Uh, so you move on to the next one. Oh, did you get stung? Right? Stung. I didn't. I, I'm, I did. I'm, so you, I'm good you, you survived it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just wore my anti-sting trousers. All, all white and grey. <laughs> Spotless. Spotless. Thankfully, um, I'm not. That's definitely the biggest one we've had so far, far as well. Yeah, I can't get the lid back then. Uh oh. That sounded like a definitive click. Oh, no one's ever opening oh. that ever again. <laughs> yeah, got it. Uh, one oh, okay, one's missing. Okay. Hey, right. We're back on track. Good stuff. Good stuff. We are back in uh, in luck with the geocaches. Definitely the biggest we've had so far. Yep, and the tidiest. And the tidiest. And mm. they included a Ooh. little geocache book. Now, normally, what you know, it noticed by so I, I know you don't might not know this, Jack, but uh, obviously with little treasures in there, there's yep. a seashell and a bow. Yeah. Uh, basically, I think the rules are that you can take something okay. from it as long as you put something to replace it. Okay. So that, that's quite a fun thing for the kids to do. Yeah, if you thought, if they had a little pouch mm. of small little items that could be anything that they could take with them, then yeah. they can exchange their treasure with new treasure, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Which is a bit of a fun, fun way of doing we it. We didn't bring anything with us that we could exchange. No, so, <laughs> so, so we're not going to take anything either. Um, just sit next to the geocache and wait for the next person to trade me in for something. Right, so I need to log that one. Log. Found it! Hey! You found it, there you go. Nice so we have out. successfully nice found one. the Kingfisher Way. Oh, we yes. walked straight past it as well as we came in. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was the thing, it led me to that fence with a big tree next to it. So yeah. actually, it was, well, actually, can't think of it. When you look around now, <laughs> one, two, <laughs> we got three yeah. fences. There's and, quite a lot and, of trees. And which large, kind trees. of suggests to me that that church one was probably a bit harder to find than we... It wasn't where it told us on the yeah. map, basically. 
Yeah, that's a difficult one. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to move on now, and it's the Kingfisher number five. Hey, where's Micro. Kingfisher one? This says Micro. One? No, I don't think we did the Kingfisher okay. one. We, we may have to go and find the Kingfisher collect, one. Collect, collect the set. <laughs> but then again, we might be going circular, so there's a possibility we could come up behind. Okay, yeah. Just creep up on it. Fingers <laughs> crossed. <laughs> okay, we are literally on target now for the Kingfisher way number five. So let's navigate. We are three meters away from it, it would seem. Okay. Only three? So okay. Three. So let's, I reckon there's a gate there, so let's head towards that gate. Okay, so we are heading towards the gate. Two meters. Oh. One meter. And this is a micro. It must be around this gate somewhere. This is a micro. Uh, what I'm learning from the last one is they like, like fence posts. Yeah. yeah one, there's, a, there's a wooden fence post there. Okay, let's go, go and see if there's anything around the base. Okay, we are traversing the gate. Okay, we're on the opposite Ooh, side of the gate oh, now. No, 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 that's not a geocache. That's somebody, a dog poo. That's somebody's <laughs> left a dog poo bag. <laughs> so don't pick that up, Jack. Anything around that fence post at all? No. Nope. Right, tracker instinct. Okay, tracker mm. instinct. I'm seeing flattened grass and things through here. Oh, okay. Someone's been here before. They're taking the hobbit rising car. <laughs> Hang on, let me just put my head to the ground. <laughs> yeah, we've got it. Hey, have we found it? Yep. See, I knew something could be through here. Ah, okay. So maybe a nano, because this says it was a micro. Same size. Oh, it's the same pot as the same, one. Same pot as that other one. It's in a lot better condition though. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have the raggedy label around the side of it. No, so uh, let's see. It's got a better log book in there. No pencil. But that's got a much better, there you go. Oh, wow. Official log book. Okay, so we've got a, a different variation of the, of the log book. Yeah, this has got quite a lot in. Uh, last date, 14th of the 6th, 22. So there you go. By Misty May <laughs> and Grimthor. Is that Grimthor, do you think? Grimthoran? Grimthorum. Misty May and Grimthorum. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to log it on the, on the app itself. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes, we found it. So, how many have we found now? How many have we found? Four out of five, isn't it? Four out of five? Is it four out of yeah, five? Yeah, four, four out of okay. five. Okay. We've tried. We have found four out of five. That has got to be worth something. <laughs> I think if I've learned anything from the geocaching is if you're going to leave something, leave a pencil. Yeah. Because if you leave a pencil, we're more likely to write our Now We Know show. I've got a pen in my bag. Do you want to write Now We Know show in it? Yeah, who cares? I've probably got a pen in my bag, but I haven't searched for it. Okay. Jack is going we to... We want to spread the word of <laughs> Now We Know show anywhere yeah. we can. Okay. Jack is going to get a pen out of his bag. You can write the log on this one then, Jack. Oh. First logbook entry by Jack. Yeah, so you're definitely not a muggle anymore. Yep. There we go, let's flick through here for you. You put it down on the next page next to Misty May and Grunthorgum, or whatever <laughs> his name is. Very Viking name. <laughs> okay, I'm showing you my bottle over there. Yeah, your bottle. Your yeah. Very tactile use of a bottle there. Yes, well, I think that's the thing when you're be, being a geocache. I know they do geocaches, uh, caches in towns and cities, but certainly in the countryside, you've got to be a little bit more country wise. Mm. You know, I, I mean, let's face it, this this one, I didn't look at the hint while, while Jack's filling in the log. Let's have a look on the, what the hint was on this one. Pen's not uh, working. Oh dear. For that, uh, hang on, hang on, where were we? Yeah, boom. So, uh, right, I'm not going to give the hint away, but I'm going to, you can see that, can't you? Yeah, right, so that actually mentions uh, posts um, and to bring your own pen. Yeah, I does say that we didn't look at that, <laughs> um, but there are several posts 
really along this bit. There are multiple hiding places yeah. for this um, one. But I used my tracking skills because it was obvious somebody had been through the brush here. So, And when was that last date, Jack? Uh, 14th of June 2022. Right, so let's see the last people through there, unless anybody found it and hasn't actually logged in, hmm. uh, was over a month ago. So go my tracking skills. <laughs> <laughs> Because otherwise we could have been rooting around on any of these. Yeah, places. yeah, we could have been here for like another half an hour. 18th. 18th. So, even though the podcast won't be going out today. Be, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This is a we have to listen back in time. Ooh. Hello, future Zach. Yeah. Right, we've got the logbook filled in. Yep. Awesome. Okay, Jack's just taking a photo it's of the logbook. Flapping around the geocache that we just found. Sweet. Right, there we go. We're spreading the good word of the Nauru Nation. Right, so I think it's fair to say we are now not muggles. Definitely. No, we filled in two we filled, filled We found in. four. Out of five, we're yeah. Just, we're basically, we're experts. Yep. <laughs> we're no longer it's muggles, like we are official business. Hashtag geogods. Part of the hey. Ministry, hey. Ministry of Geocaching now. Ministry of Geocaching. <laughs> so uh, we need to move on to our next one. So I'm kind of guessing that this is going to be Kingfisher Way number. Six. Six. <laughs> so I'm guessing. Should we have a look? <laughs> Should we have a look? Question. Yeah, before we uh, before we disappear off. Okay, so we're looking at the map now. Uh, Kingfisher Link Four. It Ooh. says. Kingfisher Link Four. What does that mean? Micro. Don't know. Okay. So there, this is a link rather than a way. Let's find out what what, what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps it means that the the pathways can join at that point and they link together. Ooh. Anyway, we know that it's up that way. So let's head off. Okay, so now we're on the Kingfisher Link. We're eight meters away and we've got a Hawthorne bush right next to us. I'd suggest it's the other side of there. One thing I've, I've noticed with the app, it's not really accurate. Mm. However, actually I don't think that's a bad thing because yeah. if it was so spot on accurate and you just went, there it is. Yeah. It kind of yeah. it kind of leaves you with, you know, at the end of it, you're going to find it. I think the fun of it is like it gives you the area where there yeah. there is something. So it's like and then you go explore and see. It, yeah. Find it yourself. Where do you think this someone could have hidden it? That makes sense. Got to have to think like a geocache. Five meters away. I tell you, there's another dog poo bag there. I wish they were oh dear. doing that. Dog, poo. that. dog poo bag counter number two. Hmm. Yeah. Now, Why do I feel like it's down in that ditch? Four meters, it says. It looks like there's a little kind of, yeah. almost like a, I don't know, kind of like a pathway look, going down. Should we look at the hint? Yeah. Okay. There's no hint. <laughs> no. <laughs> there's no hint on this one, but we can look at the description. The hint is there is no hint. hint it says, is, right, this is a very bad. short description. It says this link between the Kingfisher caches and Eatery Woods. This cache is a log only tube. Okay, right, it does say something. So uh, it's actually not on ground level. Oh, okay. okay. Not on ground level. So could it be in the tree at all? Well, we're going to have a look. You've got to be careful because it's Hawthorne. It it's spiky. Somebody did this deliberately. Ah, found it. Oh, wow, have you? Oh, man. I'll tell you what, who's got the camera? I have it. Yeah, you get in there, you're going to like this one. <laughs> you're going to like this one before you... I'm entering the Hawthorne bush. Yeah, careful of the spikes. I'll have to take my sunglasses off. Don't be... There's some kind of... Yeah, you're going to enjoy this one. Torture. <laughs> um, okay. Where am I looking? Uh, straight ahead and then on to your left a bit. Yeah, because we thought it was I down in the ditch, Let me get but this no, out it seems to be in the tree. Go on, get in there. Go forward. That's it. Come on, you can do it. It's, the pain's worth it. Oh, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> you spotted it there. What is it? What is it? I, I can't... Oh, I'm going to get a, a little Okay. Ah, oh, my leg is stinging. Oh, no. I'll get that nettle out of your way. Other leg. Other leg. Oh, that one. It's stinging his calf, so... so I better delve, delve back in there. So this was Kingfisher Link 4. So what, what does it look like, Jack? Uh, it looks like a... We'll, we'll, you'll wait and see. Okay. You're going to love this, Jack. Yeah? That is my <laughs> favourite geocache in the history of geocaches. That is awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> well, how weird is it that we were whistling the, Ge the Jurassic Park, Park theme, theme all day? <laughs> all day. Goodness. We've been, we've been whistling the Jurassic Park theme all day and we find Look at that, it's even got camo. Oh, camo that is a, that is, this is a Zach geocache. Yeah. Yes, very much so. This is nice. I love it. Okay, so we've got another little bit of paper in there. Um, easy, kind of easy to fish out, I think, this one. I think we're going to need your pen, Jack. Yeah. 
the first time okay. I've heard that. Uh, get my little pinky in there. There you, there you go. Hey! Got it. Right, I've got my hands full here. <laughs> uh, I'm recording. So, so have <laughs> I. Have to record. Oh dear, everyone's hands are full. Right, okay. Okay, last time this was found, 26th of the 6th, 22. Okay. Um, so it's not got a lot of room to write in this one, to be I honest. I mean, there. it's only got three logs on it. Yeah, three I think logs. we have to write in that because it's a dinosaur one. Okay. Yeah. Now okay. We know okay, well, uh, I'm going to pass this back to you. you can, uh, you're the one with the pen, so yep. you have to cut the video off for a moment. <laughs> okay, we are Let's still see. recording. Take a couple of, couple of lines up, I think, on that one. Jack is just going to get his pen out. <laughs> This is, this is and awesome log this geocache. So this is five out of six. Yep. Yeah. But I will say, wrong. it did have uh, yeah. So the geocache itself is actually a toy dinosaur. Which is absolutely awesome. Which is absolutely fantastic. And it's kind of got a um, little compartment attached to it, which is a little kind of camouflage Sorry. compartment. And it looks really cool. <laughs> Design-wise, this is like 10 out of 10 geocache. Very inventive. Love it. This is a very flappy one again. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack... I'm going to put my finger over that one. Okay. Jack is now logging... So it's the 18th. Yeah. Yep. Of the 7th. 22. Yep. I'm going to put N, W, K, and then... We now we know show <laughs> podcast. Awesome. There we go. Oh, fantastic. We've taken up a couple of lines, but we need to because it's a <laughs> it's a long title. Yes. Okay, so that's five out of six. Yeah, this is my favourite one so far. Yeah, definitely my favourite. <laughs> I mean the last one, the, not the last one. Yeah, the last one wasn't bad. And the one before that, the click box. I like the big the bigger one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so this is this is pretty cool. Cool. So we're yeah, just, just gonna. Saw it staring at me from the. <laughs> the <bush. laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like that. I've got to get in there. <laughs> Unfortunately, you got stung a bit, but there you go. Fight the power. Remember, kids, <laughs> wear long trousers when geocaching. Although it is a very hot day. Yeah. Oh. Tell you what, I want I want to revisit this geocache. We're spreading the good word of the name. Yes, we are. We're leaving our mark, and if anyone comes across them, then definitely get in contact with the show. So we'll love to know if you found yeah. us the same geocache as we have. Yeah, if you find a geocache that has been logged by the Now We Know show, get in contact via the uh, Zachwell Productions website, email address there, send us an email or you can leave a comment on uh, any of the podcast videos on YouTube, and we'll give you a shout out because you are a hashtag geogod. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're moving on to our seventh um, geocache now. Yep, we're gonna be heading off to that one. Let's refer back to the log. Let uh, me guess, is it Kingfisher Link 3? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just throwing names. Most seem to be Kingfisher related, so. Right, let's have a look. This one is going to be Kingfisher Way Link 3. Oh! You were spot on. Yes! Okay, yes! Super it. happy. Okay. Okay, so which one was this called? Kingfisher, Kingfisher Way. Way Link 3. Right. Um, I think we found it. We've navigated in. Again, the navigation isn't particularly accurate, but we're starting to look at the signs, aren't we? Yeah. Seeing where possibly. We're seeing patterns in the. Uh, in the geocache location. Okay, so Buzz is just entering the foliage, trampling it down a little just so he can reach reach into it. It's a bit of a challenge. Have you got something? It's actually in a tube. Yeah. That's stuck in the ground. Oh. And then the geocache itself popped out the end. Oh wow. So it's kind of fixed. That's quite cool, actually. We've not come across one of those. Though. Okay, so we have found it. I'm not going to reveal exactly where it is, but let me come back to the path. Okay. I'll just give you my stick. So, uh, yeah, so we've got another micro. So the micro, so maybe the nanos, therefore, are the smaller than the micros, then. Uh, yeah. Because the first one we found was a nano, Yeah. and that's smaller yeah. than these. Okay, what this was the last entry? This one feels a little soggy, actually. 
Well, actually, I can't read the last entry. Uh, uh, still, I'm going to get that on video at all, but it's a bit blurred out. It's pink. But it's pre previous to the to that. It says the 14th, the 6th, and just says M May. So uh, I presume the earlier ones are 22, so it must be 14th or 6th, 22. So we're probably following whoever was coming round in the last year caches. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that paper is actually soggy, so you're not going to be able to write on that. It's probably worth writing, uh, writing yeah. anything down on that one. Okay. I'll, I'll log it on the app. Yes. There you go. So seven geocaches so far. What's well, the first one that's been kind of stuck down somewhere? Mm. We can't actually pick it up physically. Hold it. Can somebody grab my well, bag? You've, you're kind of attached to the bag via a cable. Oh, I am. <laughs> okay, so this is the sixth one we found out of seven. Yes, so we're six for seven, so it's... You made an interesting point though, didn't you, Jack? Where you said about the fact that our course that we planned didn't include the church one. Yeah, I wonder if we should just kind of not count the church as a failure and just kind of a... I mean, okay, we didn't find it, but it, it was, was a detour. We kind of did it as... We, it was a detour. It was a side mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a side quest. It was a side, side quest, quest um, because it wasn't on our original route. We didn't have the correct XP to finish the side quest. So, yeah, so I'd say that... X, I think we're six for six. For six for six. Yes. Okay. And, uh, one, okay. One side quest fail. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, ow. I just... I've all, I'm covered in... Uh, in stinging protection apart from my hand because <laughs> uh, that particular geocache is fixed that's uh hell nettles court okay right okay so that one log that one found it hey there we go so what's next uh nice cache there we go Post. right next one uh, continue and oh it's not too far away it's the kingfisher link 2 oh, let's hey. go okay off we go Right, so we're close on it. It says we are five metres, but that means we might be right on top of it, to be honest with you. Uh, let's head back. So this is bit. our next geocache. This, this is seventh. Our seventh one. Not including... Not including the, the church. church. Which was a side quest. Oh, <laughs> now we're going away from it. Oh, okay, oh. turn around, turn around. Why is the... Uh... Done a U-turn. We are experiencing slight technical difficulties <laughs> on the location of this one. What's doing happening with the app here? It's kind of getting us uh, centering. Right. Well, it's saying it's that way. Wait, what? Okay, a U turn again. <laughs> oh, hang on. Look in the tree just there. Yeah, you found it. There oh, you so we, 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 we good were basically spot. bouncing between. Bounce in between it. Do you want to get that one, Jack? Oh no, you okay. have a Yeah, he's recording. Okay. Okay. It looks like it's kind of fixed there almost. I think it's looped over a branch. How fi is that? Is that fixed? It doesn't look like it's come off there for a long time. Okay. Um, it's got a loop on it, though. Okay. Can can you unscrew it? Do you need me to take over? Yeah. Do you want to take over? It's alright, Jack seems to be on it. <laughs> you can pass the camera to yeah, Buzz. Yeah. I've got it. Hey, he's got it. Okay, okay. He's got it. Geocache number seven. Seven, yes. This appears to be made up of bottle tops. <laughs> ah, now that's interesting, okay? That is two bottles. That's inventive. The, the bottle lids, uh, you cut them off. Okay, yeah. so you get two bottles, you cut them off, and then a lot of the time, if you've got an old credit card or store card or something, you draw around the bottle top. I don't know how this one's been done exactly, but you draw around that on the card and cut that circle out, and then arrow dite the two lids together. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you put the caps on, so it gives you two compartments. Right. Um, so, for example, a lot of people in bushcraft would might use these for putting salt and pepper in, or okay, uh, yeah. or different different things for fire lighting. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's a clever idea. One or the other. So that's cool. an in, that pot in itself is 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 a fun pot. Right. Do you want to swap? I'll give this to you. And swap <laughs> over. Yeah. Okay. Right. So uh, it's going to be in one end, or it's going to be in both ends. Right. Oh, I see. It goes so all the way through. It goes all the way through. So what they've done here is they've actually not sealed it between the two, so you could open it either end, which actually means makes it a lot easier. Because you can undo the other end. Undo the other end and push it out. 
pretty good. Bloop. There you go. Bloop. It's out. Let's pop the cap, cap back on. Somebody likes their spring water, I think. <laughs> well, this is quite a, quite the chunky log. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot on this one. Crikey, don't want to get Ooh, this. Oh, it's always got some kind of like stain on it. Official geocache, please do not disturb. All right, so. This is an official game piece. Oh, okay. We found a game piece earlier. I was gonna, we're gonna find out exactly what that means. Um, right, I'm getting a bit swamped with this at the minute. Right, we've got one that's blank, so that's, can I give that to you? Oh, actually, that's got some dates on it. I think people have basically been filling in where they fancy. Yeah. All right, I'll give you that one. Anyway, so, yes, we found it. Yeah, they've just been filling in where they fancy on this. Let's see the main roll. That's got plenty of space on it. So, 27th of the 12th, 21. But then it says up here, 26th of the 6th, 22. <laughs> and that's not 2020, so... If we're going to fill one in, I'd fill it in on this. Okay. I'll roll those ones up. Okay, so we're now going to fill in the log on this geocache. Yep. While well, Buzz tries to roll up the remainder. <laughs> Yeah, they, the people have kind of written all over this one. Mm. In, it's got three three spools. Yeah, it's kind of like film, isn't it? Yeah. Where should I go, but this one? Uh, yeah, I'd probably go below there. Yeah. Okay, so once Jack has filled this log out... This one is actually made, I think because this is official geocaching uh, paper. Yeah. Uh, it seems to be a little bit more tough and resilient, I would think. Okay. It's got moist. Yeah, it does feel because the other paper just just falls apart. Meanwhile, while Jack logs that, I'll log it on the app, and we can have a look at our next location. So, so far, uh, the uh, the Dino one, absolutely love that. Yeah. Uh, and this one, I like it because of its ingenuity. Mm. It's a really good design. Um, yeah, as I say, I've seen this design. You, I haven't actually made any of these containers myself, but I know obviously how to make them. That's why I recognise it straight away, and uh, I, I, I appreciate that. I think that's really good. I need something to lean on. I'm something to lean on. Um, uh, would my sorry, I'll just get my my bottle that's also a clipboard. <laughs> oh, I'm really happy now because I spotted that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good spot. <laughs> well, we had, we, on that one we didn't even get to. Um, you know, needing a hint or looking at the description because uh, initially you kind of think that you're going to be looking around on the floor in the bushes yeah you know looking under see if there's a log or brick or something something's under uh, this particular one you spotted it, it was hanging in a tree so nice which is funny because uh, the last one was hanging in a tree wasn't it no oh. that was by the sign down there ah that was the one in the pipe yeah yep. so this there's the previous one to that okay right that's logged okay so continue. Do we know what the next one is? Okay. Um, Could it be Kingfisher Link Two? One. Oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that w we've just done Kingfisher Link Two. Okay. So we're going to Kingfisher Link One. Right. And then we're going to cross into a different domain. Oh, something to look forward to then. Yeah, that's some. Um, while well, well, uh, well, we just finish off here, scenes that we have decided to do this on the hottest day. In the UK, I yeah. am just going to check the temperature. Check the temperature we're at the moment. If I head to my weather app, for the record, for the record, we have just punching it up. Right, what do we got here? Just getting a connection. Thirty-four degrees at the moment. Thirty-four. And what's the time? Uh, what time, time is, it? is half past ten in the morning. <laughs> It's meant to be hit. It's been a hit 40 today. Right, okay. Nice. Right, right you got that? Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Right, well, that was the uh, Kingfisher Link 1, yeah. and it was a no go, basically. We searched for at least 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, there's meant to be a micromagnetic. Which would imply it's on the metal gate. Well, yeah. There's, there's a, a metal gate, there's another couple of metal posts into a field. And some signs. And, and a metal signs. But the kind of clue said tucked inside yeah yeah uh, there was nothing to so get inside of it anything. had to be something to do with one of the metal things posts. do you think possibly it's like inside the metal post but it's maybe chopped out possibly, possibly. Might possibly. Have put it in wrong and it's dropped to the bottom possibly yeah. yeah which would be a very silly place to put it it you would need be a magnet on a stick to yeah so unfortunately that's a no-go so i'm going to log oh. that one that's not found oh. 
did not find. Did not find, yeah. DNF. Yeah. That's what it says, DNF, not, did not find. Uh, no go, maybe missing. With a no go show. <laughs> so uh, that's our first fail, official fail, but it could be down to the fact that it's just not there. Yeah, I, I reckon it's dropped into the posts. Yeah, yeah I've if, if somebody hidden it in there, that's a really daft place in the first instance to yeah. hide it because it's only going to go one way and that's down. Yep. Oh well. Oh, it's got a sad face now. Oh, it's no. got a blue face. Well, we're going to have to make up for it with the next one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we found a dinosaur. That is. So my day is complete. That really. is super cool. <laughs> Where are we off to now? Uh, right, I'm assuming it's the Eatonbury Wanda number one. Ooh. We're onto a different track. Then. Eatonbury Wanda, and we're in a bit of shade. Yeah. That is good. Which is nice. So, we're heading into the trees. So let's go caching. Woo! <laughs> right, so we are on the Eatonbury. What was it? The Eatonbury? The Eatonbury Wanda one. Yes. Wanda one. Wanda. 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 That's it. Wanda. Wonder. wonder, not wonder, as in wonder, wonder. Yeah, we're okay. wandering. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Well, we're on top of it. Uh, it says that it's uh, a click box under some stones. Under some stones. So spread out. Spread out. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Leave no stone unturned. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a bit tricky. It also, it did mention about a rabbit hole. Oh yeah. I mean. There's signs of rabbit hole kind of around. But yeah, again, it kind of looks very stinging nettly yeah, that's where I'm you're mean. searching. That's what I mean with the Good luck. Don't fall down the rabbit hole. Uh, ow. Yeah, there's quite a few holes around here. We'll let Buzz do the heavy lifting. <laughs> Here we see Buzz in his natural environment. Maybe check um, more towards these trees at the front. Okay. There seems to be like a kind of, almost like a tiny bit that's not got stinging nettles. Oh dear. <laughs> There's a very deep hole. Can you kind of make your way into there at all? Yeah, well, I'll just come out of the side. We'll make it a little bit. You can't think of something that's like a little bit kind of. Two. Where? Yeah, Where? Room. Where? Shall I go in? Uh, might be easier for me. Yeah, because he's got trousers on and right. you'll get stung to death. Go on then, Jack. Okay. Part the ways. Okay. I shall. Bag is being abandoned. <laughs> I have got Jack's bag. Okay, so Buzz and Jack are retrieving the cash. We've we're pretty sure we've found it. How's it looking guys? Have we got it? Oh, they have uncovered something. That very much looks like a geocache. It's a box. <laughs> Bring out the Tupperware box. Oh wow, we're gonna have a big treasure, a treasure load in this one. Ow. <laughs> okay, bring it out, bring it out. Let's get it, let's get into the shade. I've got to commend Jack on that one. He's been a very brave boy getting in all those metals. Okay. Wow. Do you want to? Okay, I've got, oh, no I haven't. I haven't got my stick. <laughs> Okay, so this is a big click box, Tupperware click box. Okay, open it up, let's open see what's out. inside. And here comes the unveiling. <gasps> oh, loads, loads of, of stuff. stuff. It's a bit, bit uh, soggy in there. <laughs> Seems to be a, there is a, a, what is that? A child's camera? Yeah, it's a child's camera. I'm looking through it. A camera toy? Yeah, it's not working. No. There's a hair bobble. There is a log. Oh, it is really soggy. <laughs> There's a soggy log, but the log's in a zip locker, so uh, yeah, we've got a just a lot, a lot of kiddies' toys. A Spider-Man uh, uh, pen? <laughs> oh, it's one of those pop-up things, you squish it down and it pops up. There's a Spider-Man pen, Jack. Yeah. You'll probably like that. That's a Spider-Man pen. If you, if you brought some treasure, you could have taken a Spider-Man pen. With it. A very soggy Spider-Man <laughs> yeah. pen. Okay, so we found a big treasure box. 
There's a log book. Are we going to fill this one in? Yep. Okay, let's pop this down. Okay, so we have found the Eatonbury Wonder One. Wonder One. Yeah. Wonder. 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 You wonder. Wonder. Not wonder. wonder. I say wonder. Wonder. Going for a wonder. I'm going for a wonder, wonder. through the woods. Wonder. <laughs> wonder. There you go. Yes. Okay. Brave Jack. Zach's <laughs> like just carrying everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brave Jack. Poor, poor been... Zach recording it, carrying everything. And poor, think, of, think of poor old Jack's legs. Oh, well, he's, so ba he's, he's Frodo. I'm, I'm the Samwise Gamgee. Oh, well, that of makes this me adventure. Strider. Because I'm the only one who's sensible to come out here wearing clothes. <laughs> yeah. The country okay. I've never geocached that. that. I've never geocached muggle. Well, I didn't know what the dress code was. Yeah. Well, I just dressed to go in the countryside. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. So Jack's going to fill in the logbook and then we're going to move on to our next geocache. Yeah, actually, come think of it, I need to log it on the app. So yeah. let's have a look, look at this, listeners. Um, I'm going to log that. So if you're on the app, it gives you the option to find it or DNF did not find or write a note. So I'm hitting the I found it and then it gives you the opportunity to write a note. So I'm going to say, uh, you know, uh, that was a large click box. Or should I click or clip? Clip box. Clip box, good find. Good find. There you go. And then I'm going to post that. And then on the app, that tells you the total of uh, you found. Now that for us today that would be number seven eight, num eight, number eight something like that okay. yeah <laughs> uh, and that's now replaced the uh, box icon for a smiley face please, please forgive us listeners oh, we've been at this for a couple of hours now and the heat is getting to us <laughs> interestingly <laughs> enough that's logged down as a small really yeah, okay that's that's quite that's large you know if you had a set of four sandwiches mm. you'd easily get them in that that tupperware yeah. box yeah so so if that's a small well, I don't know what large it's going to be. There you go. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, okay, let's go back to the app. Let me guess, Eatonbury. Well, that was this was eight, This was number one, wasn't it? So yeah. it stands to reason that the next one is Eatonbury Wonder 2. Hey, okay. Let's go caching! Okay, so we're at the Eatonbury Wonder 2, and Jack has gone into the bushes, and he's making some very interesting noises. What have you found in there, Jack? Yeah, yeah, come, yeah out. come out. Watch out for those roses. Try not to prick yourself. There's some wild roses in there. They're quite sharp. I did offer to go in, but... Okay. You can do it, Jack. Oh, now this looks interesting. Ooh, what have you found? I thought it was just a stump. Right, well, it looks like a stump. Yeah, it's with a bottle top on. What? Ah, it looks like a... Oh, wow. It looks like a... a <laughs> Bless him. Oh, we're definitely going to have to get a picture of this. He's suffering for his... Uh... Uh, my left leg is compromised. Just take it slow. <laughs> and my testicles are nearly compromised. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry about that, listening. <laughs> uh, on there. Oh yeah, I can see you're hooked up there. Yeah. <laughs> He's entangled. I don't want to move in case I lose my... Uh... He's entangled. Bit of entanglement there. Okay, can you rip yourself free? Yay. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Okay. Let's get in the shade. Okay, oh, back yeah. to the shade, back to the shade. Wow. Wow. Come into the shade a bit. Come into the shade. <laughs> I saw this, I was like, it's just a it's just a log. Just a log. I put my hand up. There you go. Hold on. Just a log that a, a cap's fallen off. Yeah, I thought it was just a cap on top because there's loads of bottles and cans in there. That's people just discarding rubbish. But ta 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 It's a geocache. Right. In a log. Can you dive in, in a log? log? That that is that's what ingenious. Like. Can you see inside? There's not a lot in there, but yeah, it's it's a tube. You'd never have known that. Basically, was. it's a tube that's been drilled in. That's impressive. It's kind of uh, it reminds me of. Do you know those? Oh, there was a marble in the bottom. I think. Yep. Oh yeah, marble. <laughs> marble. Little marble. Uh, so it even contains treasure. It looks like. Do you know you used to get them containers that you had like did for home scientific kind of experiments or yeah. or even the ones that had the bubble bubble fluid in. Mm. Yeah. And he's obviously drilled a hole into the log and just glued. Include one of those in with a screw cap. You know, and this was in it, which is the main, which is the main log. Is that, or it's got some white powder in it? It's a log. <laughs> <laughs> it's a log in a log. Right, let's put this down. Okay, give me the stick. It's, it's a treasure hunt. Well done, Jack. Right, again, right, so this is, it's an, again an official geocache. Do not uh, 
disturb. Slightly damp, which I'm surprised at, to be honest with you. Yeah. Surprised at. Uh, oh dear, it's a bit. It is a bit soggy, this one. Uh, so what we're going to, oh, this is very full. Very full. Very popular there, is a bit one, of, there is a bit of space in here. Yeah, this must be a very popular geocache then. Yeah. Because some of the previous ones we've found today, I think only two or three finds. Finding that one has meant that we are advanced to geocaches. Yes, <laughs> We're getting there. very there, much so. There's people listening to this probably game. <laughs> Amateurs. You could, you could easily overlook that. All right, so do you want to fill this one in? Yeah, I'll fill that one in. Okay, brilliant. The disguise on this particular geocache is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, no, that was really good. The only thing that could give it away is the bottle top. Yeah, and you think if you painted that bottle top brown, yeah. you'd think it's just part, no of, way. The, part of the log. No oh, way, you could easily cool. overlook it. There's loads of cans and bottles and things. I just saw a bottle top, I was like, okay. You could use the, the tree. Uh, sorry, I'm yawning Okay, here. do you want to log this one? Yeah, I'll log this one. Thank you for my Then we can it? find out what oh, our put... next geocache will be. Yeah, yeah, just leaning on that. Yeah. Okay, let's log it. We found, found it. it. And I'm going to say, an excellent, excellent cash. So it doesn't give too much away. <laughs> okay, so. What's our next? Let's zoom out on our map a little bit. Okay, it looks like we've got a bit of a walk. Uh, okay, because we're heading for there. Or are we heading across and. We want to find that one. Okay. Then that one. Then that, that one. one. Then that, that one. one. Okay. So we've basically got four more, four more to go. Four more caches to go. And the next one's going to be Eatonbury Wonder 3. There you go. Okay. So Jack has now logged this particular cache. We know where our next cache is located. Yeah, we're going to start navigating to that. And we're going to put this one back. Okay. Drop it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We All will right, well, be back. On the next cache. On the next cache. Okay, so we've got this Eatonbury Wonder Three. Yes. But yes. this would seem from the description that it has been moved because of groundworks around here and there is a little bit of okay. groundworks going on. Um, and it's described uh, as a BOP magnetic. Okay, which we kind of... Well, Jack, you reckon that's back of post. Back of post, yeah. Something magnetic. Like, yeah, well, there's we've, lots of posts around. So. We've checked all the posts and we haven't had any luck. So we're back to this position where we're trying to find uh, a small one and having no luck. Now, I'm new to this app, okay, and I'm looking through the description. But I've just noticed it said activity, 1st of the 6th, 2022. Right. And I clicked on it, and it comes up with loads of messages. So let's have a look. Uh, 15 meters of finding and no luck, right? So somebody... Uh, Did not right. find. Soon spotted where it should be, but it was no longer there. A bit of foraging around the ground soon had it in hand. Signed and backed where it should be. Log is nice and dry. That was back in that was May. May. The other one was June. June yeah. said Did not 15 find. meters of searching the area and couldn't find. So 15 minutes. Of 15 minutes. Of searching the area. Oh, I thought it was meant. Oh. I thought it was like search, it searching 15 meters of the area. Could I, be. I'd say that I'd read that as 15 minutes. minutes. Searching, okay. Yeah. Okay. 15 minutes. Which well, makes sense. Similar. Yeah. So okay. Anyway. So, <laughs> so the last person to make a log was basically said they couldn't find it either. Yeah. And somebody else who logged before that said they did find it, but it wasn't where it was meant to be. So mm. we'd assume that's been... I think it's gone then. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're going to mark this one down as a no-show simply because... We couldn't find it. It's not like we couldn't find it. I don't think it's there to be found. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing so. we can do about that one. So that's it. We'll move on to the next one. Oh, then. well. Okay. So the ones we haven't found so far are the side quest at the church. Yep. The I'd be interested to read the logs, log notes on yeah. those ones to see if mm. similar things have come up saying that they can't find it. Or and the Kingfisher Link one, we didn't yeah. find that, which was kind of by a gate. Again, the magnetic thing we couldn't find. Yeah. Uh, and then Eatonbury Wonder 3. Oh, well. We've got three more to go. Three more to go. If we can get three 100% on these last three. Uh, this one is, uh, looks like it's the other side of these woods. Okay. okay not far off. All right. One, off to the next geocache. Right, so we're, we're now um, at we're 11 metres from the Eatonbury Wonder 4. But the description says it's a ground level one, west side of path, BYOP. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that OP is off par. So my back of post, <laughs> back of post, <laughs> isn't isn't relevant anymore. Could that have been something off par then? Yeah, I think it's off par. Off par. Oh, what's well, the B then? <laughs> See, geocache professionals, we we haven't got this. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go back to the navigate, and it's actually well, 12 we're standing meters. On, but that's 12 meters into the trees. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna have to wander into the trees. Or wandering. <laughs> and you've got some uh, spikes in here. Uh, bring your own pencil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so bring your own pencil. Thank you for that. What would we do without Google? Okay, so we So have... so was the BOP not be behind Bring BOP is bring, bring own own pencil. pencil. B-Y-O-P is bring your bring own your pencil. Bring <laughs> not behind a post. <laughs> we're thinking more technical. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Okay, well, we're two metres away from it, so it's got to be somewhere here. Okay, we've, we've come about, what, 10 metres away from the path? We're in some trees now. Well, is it? Two paths. Yeah. Very Having some navigational errors. You're following the oh, hang on, there's some bits of wood over here. That does look a bit suspicious. Oh. Hang on, is that another one of those bottle caps? Oh. oh wow. That blends in wonderfully. We said didn't we about um, if you'd have painted it a different colour other than other than the white bottle top, you'd yeah. know. That blends in a lot more. Okay. Jack's going in. You got this, Jack. We believe in you. I mean, to be fair, that one's pretty much in the open. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. We're going to the main path. We are leaving the tree line. Try not to spike ourselves. Now that is a camera case. Okay, so that's a cam 35 millimeter camera case. One. So yeah. this is similar to yeah. the previous one we found, isn't it? This got a proper log book in it. Oh, it's a dinky log book. Look at that. Wow. Okay, let me I'll tell you what. I'll put the cap back on there. Right, log book. Was there anything else in there? No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Let me just put the uh, put my app away. Would you like me to hold it? It's okay, I'll stick it in your pocket that one. Okay. Still got it connected to the charger. Talk about chargers. Okay, so I had my phone fully charged before we came out using the app, and, and that was fine. I got it down to about 45%, but that was quite a while ago. And I've got a good battery life on my phone, so it is essential, listeners, that you bring a battery pack with you if you're going to do serious geocaching. Uh, the one I brought with me today is a fold-out solar power one, which I've got hanging off my pack which helps because it's, it's charging up while I'm using it. Because without the app, we would have no chance of finding yeah. any of these things. Yeah, you've got to use the app. <laughs> I, I do believe, actually, I do believe, since you mentioned that, you could go online on your laptop if you don't use, if you haven't got a smartphone. Yeah. You can go on the line, find the directions online, mm -hmm. and then you can note those down and basically print them out and use... Do a route. Yeah. Do, do, do a route that way. So it is possible, I believe, that you can do it. Somebody can write in the comments and let us know if that's the case. Um, well, this is a it's really a, tiny logbook. This is a tiny logbook. This is probably the smallest logbook we've <laughs> actually found. Right, it's got a, quite a few. All right, okay, no, no, it's not. It's, it's got a, it's a got lot a, of space left in it's it. It's got a decent amount of finds. When was the last? Just last getting one. there. Well, the last one was first of the six twenty-two. Okay. By E H G. Whoever that is. I just we found one that said the Now We Know show <laughs> from like eight, <laughs> from the, a future date. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're gonna have fun filling that one in. I'll hold the. The log. It's like a logbook for a mouse. It, well, look, it's a logbook. Get it? It's a Get log it? Book. It's a logbook. <laughs> it's in a log. Because it's actually in a log. The last one. Oh, do we? Yeah, I did. Oh, oh. Me. oh no. <laughs> I apologise. Oh, It'll don't. be on the recording somewhere. <laughs> you can beat, beat us to that one. <laughs> I know we were, Zach, exactly, because we were so clever. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> I just think we could come across our future selves and tell <laughs> yeah. him a logbook joke. I've just come up with an idea for a short story. A geocaching horror film. Yeah. Okay. Combined with time travel. We're spreading the word of Now We Know show. We've done about six of these now. Yeah. So. yeah. 
And so, listeners, if you come across any of our logs, just oh, no, <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> Yeah, that's not quite, didn't come out quite well, I meant it to. Any of so, our geocache yes, logs. logs. Yeah, if you find any, mark down which log it was, where you found it, send the information through to us and we'll give you a big shout out because you are a hashtag geogod. <laughs> well, I came up with that the other day. <laughs> yeah, you did, and I, we loved that. Oh yeah, it's great. Yeah, everybody wants to be a hashtag geogod. But you can only become a hashtag geogod if you find one of our now we know show logs in a geocaching logbook and in future i think what we're going to do is we're going to do some geocache cards for oh, now yeah, we know show. Great. some travel cards or something so if you find one of our cards you can contact us mm. tell us the specific yeah. number on the card i've certainly enjoyed recording this episode a lot so i definitely think this is worthy of a follow-up episode yeah I mean, basically, we can go geocaching uh, anywhere. Anyway. I mean, it's, it's crazy how many are around that you don't even know. Okay. Right, so we're going to put the logbook back. There's your paper bag, a plastic bag even. And we'll stick it back in its container. It's and I think, I think that leaves us down to two geocaches yeah, now. Two more. And we've finished our route for the day. And then we can go back to the studio and discuss what we think of geocaching. Right. It's in. Let's go put it back. Uh, did you want to give that to Jack whilst you log it in? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. Let's get my app out. Right. Let's log this one. Found it. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Cash. Bingo. Continue. So that takes us to this one, which is the Eatonbury Wanderer Five. Okay. So we've now arrived at the. Eatonbury Wander 5, geocache, uh, difficulty 2, it's another micro, uh, from the description, well not the description, but from the uh, navigation, if I go on the navigation, um, we, for some reason the navigation has actually got us standing over there, don't know why, it's about 20 metres away, um, but we are, but and the cache is actually right underneath this huge tree, well it's a, it's a willow tree, yeah, okay, we're so under a big willow tree. So we've got a cache around here somewhere if we want to look for it before I look at the actual any description. So let's have a look around. I can imagine uh, it now, being. It, be micro, so. it could be up in the tree because there's a lot of. There are a couple of those today. I'm going to check behind this post. Nope, nothing on the post. Anything up in the branches at all? I can't see anything. All right. Jack, you go for the description. Yeah. Hasn't got a hint. It's not sp nothing right, springing out. Bison hanging around back. So I'm around the back. It says bison. Whatever a bison is. Bison hanging around back. Anybody know what a bison is? Could it be anywhere in here? Could be. At all? Can you see a what do you say, bison? It says bison. Bring your own pencil. Well, it's not like capital letters, it's the word bison. Could it be somewhere tucked away in there? Like on that little post down yeah, there? Just looking above our heads. Wherever it is, it's got to be on hanging. It's, it's tucked in or hanging around back. It's not behind the fence. Oh! Ah! What? Oh! It's there. Not behind, it's behind the back, yeah, but it's. Oh, careful. Ah! There you go. Right. There we go. That's it. We were looking at the tree the entire time, uh, well, and it turned out to be directly behind us. Uh, it's behind us on the fence. <laughs> uh, does somebody want to come in and undo that one? Yep, I'll grab it. Okay. It like nice I'll pass, just yeah. squeeze past you, Jack. It's actually uh, an EDC pot. Oh, really? Yeah, everyday county pot. Oh, wow. Well, it seems to be attached to the fence. <laughs> okay, so Jack is unscrewing the pot now. Okay, did you want to bring it out at all? Okay, so we're proper metal, metal back on the path. Wow, it's metal. Yeah, yeah, it's a proper EDC aluminium one. Yeah, this is this is kind of built like uh, you have a good quality torch, you know, a mag light torch. That's nice. It's the same book as the last one. Here, uh, the long ones. The longer version. Long, long version. Oh, it's been found quite a few times. Yeah, but there's still a lot of room in there. Uh, so the last one was seventeenth of the fifth twenty-two. By too many toads, or is it? Yeah, too many toads, not roads. <laughs> yeah, too toads. Many, too many toads. Is that another rival podcast? Oh, hang on. No, there's one on the back. 
Oh, that just says EHG. First of the eighth. Ah, wait, what? First of the eighth. That's a bit wonky, isn't it? First of the eighth, 22. Yeah. Well, it's That's from the future. It's from the future, this one. Oh, my God. <laughs> HG <Yeah>. Wells. <laughs> yeah. HG <laughs> Wells as well. Okay, go on. Are we going to have to do a time travel right. episode now? <laughs> I think so. I think we should do one on time travel. Because that is a real That's difficult American, su- American. subject to get your head around on podcast. Anyway, let's not get distracted. Let's log this one in. Okay, so we've got a log. log. Found it. Jack is currently filling in the logbook. And... Buzz is filling in the information on the app. There you go. So excellent container. Love it. And logged. So got a nice smiley face on that one. Okay. So that was our second from last geocache that we're finding today. We've got one more to go on our route. One more to go. It's all looking good. Fingers crossed. We'll find it. Well, well, let's see if we can finish on a high. Oh, yes. Let's go do it. Okay. So now we've come off of the beaten track. We're actually back into the village of Stockfold. Um, so we might get some traffic noise coming past. This is going to be our last, our final, the big finale, the big the finale. Adventure. and this big finale um, is actually the third Olympic gold post box. Yes, uh, I'm familiar as I do live in this okay. village of Stockholm. So let's go for the description. Okay, so during the 2012 Olympics, athletes in the UK stepped up to the mark and won medals of all colours across a wide variety of sports. And so this particular post box is dedicated to to Victoria Louise Pendleton, MBE, who was actually born in Stockfold, the village we're in at the moment. I mean, that does make sense. We did walk down Pendleton Way. uh, Yeah, we did did walk down Pendleton Way. Um, So we are going to navigate our way there. And we shouldn't be too far from it because it says it is 54 metres. Okay. I know for a fact it's just around this corner. (laughs) You know for a fact. We are on our way to the gold post box and lo and behold we've walked around the corner and we're 53 meters away and there's a gold oh, wow. post box oh wow i <laughs> didn't expect that right. let's stick to the shade let's stick to the shade 45 meters and closing so this is this is this is a good way to finish uh this set of uh, caches is finishing it on a gold post box it's not something you're going to come across every day is it so let's go right i can see it so we don't need to really navigate to it so let's have a look uh what type is it? It says size, question mark. Oh, okay. Difficulty two. Hint. Ooh, this is a bit of an odd one. The hint, I don't know if I can get it in the shade. The hint says one, magnetic, two, two. Whatever that means. Magnetic two. So. Intriguing. Let's cross the road now to the post box. I mean, it must be somewhere on this post box. Doesn't look like a lot of places for us to, to hide. Oh well, there is a sign on the post box that says this post box has been painted gold by Royal Mail to celebrate Victoria Pendleton, gold medal winner, London Olympics 2012 for cycling and women's Kieran. Okay, we're just going to pose for a group photograph yeah, we'll by the golden post box. <laughs> okay, we've just taken right. a photo. Now the post box is obviously metal. Yeah. But I can't see any geocache. Any geocache. Yeah, there must be a geocache around here somewhere. That sounds like the whole thing is a geocache. That is, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, we've got, we've got another uh, uh, electrical box nearby. Yeah, or, or is the post box just a red herring? It could be something else. Well, it's not going to be in the post box. Okay, we're walking a bit further down the road. Nothing on there? I'm going I'm to look at the actual... Okay. Uh, no. Oh, uh, what? Okay, it says here on uh, right now. This is I'm going to go to the third one from the from the last one. Uh, so on 31st of the fifth this year, he put down two. What? So now the the, the the hint was two. magnetic. And two. And, and so these put down two. Found it two. Don't know what that means. The second one says, very clever. Winky face. And then it was found on the 20th of the 6th. And that says, finally, after many visits, so bloody obvious. Oh, no. Right. So, this... so there's a two. So is there a number two around on something? Uh, it says... High Street, two minutes up there. 
There's a, that's another uh, sign. That says two minutes. Oh, oh, two minutes. Yeah, yeah on the sign. Okay, I'm looking up. I can't see anything in the sign. No sign of the geocache, pardon the pun. Two. We're looking for two. So it certainly isn't going to be tucked up inside there. Two. 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 Okay, just having a look a bit further afield. That says ten. That says three. Okay, there's a signpost over there that says three. This is proving to be slightly tricky. Two. Two. There's a two. Yeah. Good spot. Good spot, Buzz. Dig around in there, see if you can find anything. That says two. Yeah, and loads of cobwebs. I can't see anything either. Sorry, I can see something shiny behind there, but I think it's a bit of rubbish. Okay. I don't know if this is a bit of stuff, but there is something shiny around there. Where is that? In the... Just down there. I can't see anything. Other there. side. That's you see anything? Be, it's meant to be magnetic. Oh, okay. So that says two. Two. Prominent theme of two. Okay, that's that's just a... Two. And nothing. Anything down there? Oh, no, that's a snail. Oh, no, it's not looking good for this one. Yeah. Well, it says two. We've looked at pretty much every two that could possibly be a two in this area. Yeah. There's a, a lamppost over there that's marked one, three, and two. But it's, it's across not, the road, yeah. That's not on that, not a two. Does anyone know Braille? Because there's a Braille sign on the side of the post box. <laughs> not the top. The only most obvious two is over there, but so far as I can see, there's nothing. There's a little kind of knobbly thing on the bottom of here, but that's that can't be. That can't be it. <laughs> yeah, you are a local Jack. Yeah, there's nothing obvious to to see where it is. So anyway, we'd like to know that if anybody out there knows where this Pendleton micro or nano magnetic is and what, I mean, obviously the first clue on the hint was magnetic. Second one was two. The number two. The number two. Uh, I'm, I'm checking out everything that's got a number two on it, but I'm not seeing anything. Going through here, would, it, it's almost garden. like I'm going into somebody's garden, yeah, so I don't want to do that. that. <sighs> no. Very elusive. Well, I think I think Pendleton Way gold post box has stumped us. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be that then, boys. We've had a splendid trip. Yes, well, it's, it's all about the journey and the friends we made along the way. Yes, yeah. the things we've <laughs> discovered. Yeah. Uh, about ourselves and about those of, around us. Um, it's very hot. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Yeah. Every journey starts with but one step. Exactly. And now we are going to start another journey, <laughs> heading back to the studio. Yes. This was very fun. I have enjoyed this a lot. I wish yeah. we'd, we'd found the elusive gold box geocache, but... Oh, well, one day. One, one day. day. One day. It'll, it'll dawn on us at two o'clock this morning <laughs> tomorrow morning you know i'm just trying to look around and see if there's like a massive number two that's up with an arrow it's here you know i don't get it we you are know? the number two i don't we have it. to sacrifice one of us there's three of us and they want two of us we wait what wait someone. i'm recording this i can't be sacrificed yeah anyway ladies and gentlemen uh, we're gonna call it uh call an end to our geocaching outdoor broadcast and head back to the studio where, where we'll sum up uh, what we've what we've done, uh, what we've discovered, what we've enjoyed, and uh, answer some questions that we had beforehand. Yeah, and uh, give it a quick review. Yes, geocaching. It's very hot. It's very hot. <laughs> That's the takeaway from this. Yeah, it's, it's already nearly 40 <laughs> degrees already. So let's head off. Thank you very much for listening. Back to the studio.